This is Chris 6 News at 6. Hello to you. Welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Sierra Pizarro in for Pat Simon tonight. Big news today from Flatiron Jagados, the contractor of the new Harbor Bridge project. Work that was stopped in August because of safety concerns raised by TxDOT will start again next week. That's just one of the updates we got this morning during a rare tour of the construction site. Iran Hammy joins us from there live. It's looking like this project is getting back on track. How's it going? Yeah, just as you mentioned, Sierra, work is getting back on track. We know that the work on the main span was stopped back in August because of those five major safety concerns. And although that work stopped, other work progressed in other parts of this project. But now we're learning today that there's progress all around this project. As work is expected to resume on the main span of the Harbor Bridge this coming Monday, TxDOT's District Engineer Valente Alaveras says one of the five major safety concerns has been taken care of. So one of those items was a delta frame redesign that we were requesting, and that one item was actually resolved and accepted yesterday. Oliveras added the remedy to the delta frames was adding more steel between them. As for the remaining concerns, no remedies have been agreed upon yet. The remaining four major items that's being worked on in the background, but you don't get to see any of that because there is design analysis, right? So we're going back and forth, making sure that we can get a resolution for those four items. While that has happened, work has continued on the approaches to the main span. TxDOT says the approach from the north side coming from Portland is 81% finished, while the south side approach from the city is 87% complete. On August 16th, the developer Flatiron Chicagos was given a notice of default for not complying with TxDOT's requirements. Hearing from Flatiron for the first time, they say everyone just hasn't been on the same page. Although there are things that to this day FDLOC and TxDOT don't necessarily agree on. What we ultimately decided was the best course of action for, for ourselves, for TxDOT, for the state, was to figure out a way to close the gap and to get back to work. So that's what we've really been focusing on at this point. Dale Nelson with Flatiron also mentions that the FIG Group, the company previously removed from working on the main bridge, is still helping on the project. Nelson says they are helping with the approaches and roadways. But I hope you did see today that there is a lot going on. There's quite a bit of roadway work going on. And there is obviously on the approaches, we're, we're erecting segments and, and just tremendous progress still going on. There is still no estimate to how much the delayed work will cost, but TxDOT and local politicians have promised there would be no extra charges to the taxpayers. Now I know the biggest question you're all wondering is when will this darn thing be finished? Well, with the delays, Flatiron is now estimating 2025. No specific month was given because they're waiting to see how these final safety concerns play out. And once they have a resolution for those, they will have an exact date. Reporting live in Corpus Christi, Iran Hammy, Chris 6 News.